Hey guys, welcome to Learning for a Cause. Today I'm going to try out an experiment called Fireworks in a Jar. So it's my first time trying out this experiment, so I do not know whether this is going to work or not. So this video is just going to be me trying it out, and hopefully this cross your fingers. It's going to work. Um, so if it doesn't work, some reasons may be because I looked up at a online website and they said to use vegetable oil but I feel like canola oil really shouldn't make that much of a difference there's also my food colorings are neon colored and I don't know if that's gonna make a difference but hopefully this is gonna work it looks really cool or it looked really cool on them on the web but hopefully it's gonna work out and let's hope it's a success and not a fail what you will need a bowl food coloring preferably not neon a fork to mix, a jar, vegetable oil, measuring spoons, and finally some warm water. So this is my mason jar. So step one, fill up your mason jar or any jar you're using three fourths with warm water. I just took a glass. I didn't really know how warm, so I just took it and warmed it up for about 50 seconds to a minute. And this is me doing another epic fail. So I filled the mason jar with about three-fourths of warm water. It's a little less than three-fourths, but I just want to keep it like this just to be safe. So next, we're going to be working with the oil and food coloring. Alright, so next, take three to four tablespoons of vegetable oil and pour it into a bowl. I'm using quite a large bowl. Hopefully it'll work, but if it doesn't, I would kind of recommend a smaller bowl. But I used a larger bowl so I can mix the food coloring in. So, yep. Okay, so I put in like drops of each food coloring. I had a neon pack of food coloring if you were wondering. So now you just use a fork and gently mix it so you can form smaller droplets. You can see how smaller droplets are falling, forming. So just gently mix it. If you're wondering why it's not dissolving, well don't worry, it's not supposed to. I do notice that some colors have reached the bottom and just stuck there, which I do not know why that happened, but I may just go on and add some different colors so that won't happen. Pour in the mixture. What is it? This is adobo. So, that was a little different. Everything just started to react at once. I have no idea why that happened, but it looks kind of cool, right? So it didn't really turn out the way we wanted it to, it just started mixing with the water immediately. Maybe we put too less oil, I don't know, but it still looks cool. So was this an epic fail? We don't know. We're going to do a trial too and not use the darker colors and just use the lighter colors. And let's try again, but as you can see the oil is still at the top. The colors just blended with the water really quickly. Right. So, this is trial two. Let's hope this works this time. Oh, <laughs> the same thing happened. So, we just saw that from the top, a blue color did kind of like firework down. We did follow our all directions properly. We just don't know, maybe it's one of these neon color food colorings that are just immediately going with the water and not slowly coming in. But I can tell this is blue. This is actually doing what it's supposed to do. See from the top? At the top, it's coming down. It's like little fireworks, but the only problem is you can't really see it as much. Maybe if we don't add in green? I don't know. But that's how it is. See, the some more just came in. See, the some more just came in from the top. I'm probably gonna fast forward this, but see, look from the top. I think it's a blue. The blue one is the good one. If you have this neon set, maybe we're doing something else wrong, but we think it's the blue food coloring that's gonna work in this fireworks experiment. And probably don't get the neon set when you're doing it. Get the normal one and then it'll probably work out better. But this is kind of cool. If you look closely, you can see it from the top. It's kind of like making a cool effect. It's like you're underwater. 
So was this experiment a success or a fail? Well, I'm not going to say it's a fail, but for us, it kind of was. But I think in general, maybe I think it was just our food coloring. Neon probably is not the best one for this. And maybe just some of the colors, they just don't work out. I can tell that the blue is working out. So try out the normal one. So I'm not going to say it's a complete fail because it is still doing the fireworks effect. It's just doing it with one color. So that's kind of weird. But it's cool. It's doing the fireworks in a jar. But my only advice is don't get the neon food coloring. Get the normal one, the classic one. And then I'll and let me know in the comments below if yours worked out. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. So please like and subscribe down below. See you later. The science behind it. So oil is less dense than water and therefore it would float on top. Also, in our experiment, we mix food coloring with oil, but food coloring only mixes in water because water, water is polar while oil is non-polar. Food coloring is polar, so therefore it is only soluble in water. I'll have another lesson kind of explaining this more in depth later, but therefore when it was poured into the water, the oil and food coloring shifted at the top, then slowly food coloring would drop into the water, creating fireworks.